My teenage stepdaughter has been caught being a bully to another kid just because she's poor, mocking her because she doesn't have a lot of money, while also acting like a spoiled rotten brat. So I decided to punish her and put her in her place for acting like a bully and treating people like garbage. And now, as a result, I'm being called a jerk, and I'm not sure if I went just a little bit too far. Here's what happened. So about two months ago, my wife and I learned that my stepdaughter, who's 16, was bullying a girl at school over being poor, as well as getting free lunch at school and not being able to afford necessities, such as her own car and other stuff like that. Now, our daughter was kind of spoiled. We provided her with everything she needed, along with an allowance and a part-time job at my company, and we own a small family service business. We've been considered middle class, doing things that other people weren't as privileged to do, such as buying our daughter a car on her 16th birthday. I come from a family of immigrants and was considered in poverty growing up, so after learning about the bullying, I was furious as we thought we didn't raise her to behave that way. She was in honors and top ranking of her class. I tried to talk to our daughter over why she would do that and I was disturbed to learn it was because she viewed that girl as trailer trash, which really irritated me. The girl, from what I learned, is very smart and works hard. She bought her own beater car all by herself and works two jobs. She considered the money our family had as our family's money, so I put her in her place and told her that it was not not her money, but instead it's my money and her mom's money. So I decided from that point I was spoiling my daughter too much. We ended up taking away her latest iPhone and replacing it with my iPhone 8. And we had it set up with a talk and text plan. We took away her family credit card. We sold her car along with her MacBook and other luxuries. I also told her she would have to find a job without nepotism and work a minimum wage job like everyone else her age. Because I'm done giving her handouts if she's going to act entitled. Fast forward to two months later and she is working at a fast food restaurant with us driving her around. She doesn't talk to me unless she needs something like a ride, but is very upset with me. My wife feels like I'm taking this too far because it's affecting her social status as well as her grades and schooling. I, however, feel like she needs to be humbled because I cannot have a daughter who will disrespect people just because of the amount of money they have. I also feel that her behaving this way will affect her younger sister and how she perceives the world. So am I the jerk for punishing my 16 year old stepdaughter after the way she treated this other girl. No, you did the right thing in my opinion. You are absolutely not the jerk. You not only taught her a valuable lesson that no, you can't just have whatever you want in life, but you also showed her the consequences of her actions. And this is something that's really important to learn early on. Sure, she can be angry with you and upset that you're punishing her, but honestly if I was in your shoes, I would rather have her be mad at me than to passively allow her to terrorize another girl at school, all because of the money she doesn't have. And also, how entitled can you possibly get? She thought the money that you and your wife had was somehow like a golden ticket to her acting like an idiot. And that, in my opinion, is so uncalled for. You simply shouldn't treat people like that. Like that girl who doesn't have a lot of money, she clearly works hard to have good grades and to be relatively smart. I mean, literally, it sounds like that's all she has. So to have this girl come in and be like, wow, you're so poor. You're nothing but trailer trash. And just putting her down and mocking her the entire time, like that's so inappropriate appropriate and it's really good that you corrected her. And I think I could argue to some degree the way your wife feels. She probably thinks that taking her car away and all this other stuff is only going to damage her and I can kind of see where she's coming from to an extent, but this is a valuable lesson for her to learn. Because honestly the world needs a lot less bullies in my opinion. And if you can teach your stepdaughter that being a bully is never a good idea then that in my opinion is a lesson well learned. If you like Am I the Jerk you're probably going to love Am I the Genius. Check it out, link down below in the description. Also, go to amithejerk.com slash submit if you would like to submit your own stories. An entitled Karen constantly comes into our restaurant complaining and criticizing every single food item she ever gets. And after dealing with this for so long, my manager gave me express permission to deny her service if she ever gives me a hard time ever again. And I'm honestly so blown away by having this power that I'm now seriously wondering how I'm even going to handle it. Here's what happened. So when it comes to my job, we still have people who are just starting to come back out after the pandemic. This means they're in for a complete shock with how much has changed concerning service, portions, and prices. They always announce right as they sit down at my table that this is the first time they've dined out since 2020, so I know to proceed with caution. I also use this information to gently explain that things have changed concerning prices and supply issues, but I'll ensure they'll still have a good time. I actually want to retrain these people on how 
how to behave because I want them to come back. But trust me, it is a lot of handholding. This one woman has been back once a week for three weeks at least. She orders something different every single time, so I know she's at least open to the dining out experience. But trust me, she is never ever happy. No matter how many explanations I offer up or how many quality checks I do, I'm always told after she finishes 99% of her meal that it wasn't good and she won't order it ever again. None of these issues are mistakes though. They're just smaller portions. Or it's a different sauce or it's a different cut. Stuff like that. I've even gone as far as to explain how all the local food distribution companies have gone out of business and we are now codependent on two. She might say something like, oh, so Joe's Bakery no longer delivers the bread? I say to her, ma'am, Joe's Bakery has been shut down for three years. He doesn't deliver anything. Honestly, I'm so done with this lady. She brings in new people each time, which I appreciate and wanted to work with, but she's not doing us any help. I express myself to my manager and have been given the go-ahead to either refuse service with an explanation the next time she comes in, or after her next meal, ask why she keeps coming back if she's never happy. And honestly, right now with all things considered, I don't know what to do with all of this new power. First of all, your manager is awesome. They not only heard exactly what was going on, but they decided if you want to refuse service, then by all means, go right ahead. And that is honestly like the golden ticket. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a manager willingly give out that kind of card to their employee. And it first of all, all comes back to the point that they really do trust you. Like, they know you're not going to be like, you, you looked at me wrong. I'm not going to give you any service. Like, clearly you're going to use this in a way that's constructive and you're actually going to use it for the people who give you problems. But to have that kind of power at your fingertips, that is seriously such an awesome thing to have. Because I'm right there with you. People have turned into weirdos since the pandemic. Like, especially in customer service and, like, restaurant settings, people have become so entitled, it's honestly obnoxious. And it's so unfair to the workers who are just trying to get things done and make a paycheck. So good for you for being trusted with this power, and hopefully that lady comes in with a better attitude next time around. Because otherwise, she's gonna find herself with no food on her plate. My mom and stepdad claim to understand how busy my life is right now, but then turn it around on me and complain as if I never do anything for them. And at this point, I'm just so exhausted and I'm just so done with all of this. And I seriously don't know what to do. Here's what happened. So I'm caught up in the middle of an argument between my mom and stepdad at the minute. My stepdad left her in June following an argument that turned sour between the two. The problem they both have is that he's a heavy drinker and my mom has anger issues. So combine that together and they just clash. Anyways, regardless, this argument between the two of them has been going on ever since, with both of them promising me they won't get me involved, but that is all they have done. My life is hectic at the minute. Me and my girlfriend moved in with my grandma 18 months ago, and this is right after her dementia diagnosis, so we live and care for her at the moment. We've got an 8-month-old baby boy who keeps us on our toes, and on top of that, I started my own business in June, and most days I'm out working 12 plus hours a day. I literally get up and out the door at 6 in the morning. I drive most of the day and I'm limited to when I can text and be on the phone. I get home at about 6 p.m. on average where we sit down, we eat some food, we wash up, then we have our little boy in a routine at about 7 o'clock p.m. where we get him ready for bed with a bath every two nights. That's a bottle, book, and then trying to settle him down. And this is also while trying to make sure that my grandmother's needs are also being met. Then we have washing up to do, sometimes bottles to wash and sterilize. Then we maybe get into bed at about 9 p.m. just to settle down. But I have to sit there on my laptop, catching up on administrative things for the business that I don't get the chance to do during the day. We maybe get to sleep at around 10 to 11 o'clock p.m. Then I'm right back up at 5 in the morning and then I just repeat it. I barely see my little boy apart from bedtime most days and it honestly breaks my heart. My stepdad recently saw me have a mental breakdown in regards to my grandmother's dementia only a matter of a month ago or so. Then, not long after, he started kicking off at me over text messages and emails, throwing things in my face that he's bought me over the years, and telling me how awful and ungrateful I am. Then he's even gone back to my mom, saying I never ring him, or even visit him or care about him in the slightest, so my mom's responded, reminding him I'm working all the time now, while also caring for my grandma and baby, so she's basically pretending that she cares. Her freezer broke yesterday, so she had asked me if we had any room for anything in our chest freezer. I told her we did a big shop over the weekend, and I don't think we do, but we could probably squeeze in some essentials. Then she messaged me this morning, telling me that I was no help to her yesterday when she needed
needed it, and all her food is now going to waste, and that my stepdad is right. I just don't have the time of day for them. So you know what? They're right. I don't have the time of day for them. They're exhausting whilst I'm already exhausted myself. They both want constant attention. Me and my girlfriend are absolutely exhausted with everything because we get so little help as it is. There's just not enough hours in the day to get things done. I know it's not always going to be like this, but at the minute it absolutely is and we're really struggling. I simply can't be bothered with any of it. I just can't please anybody and at this point I just don't know what to do. Your parents are being so obnoxious. Like seriously, they're not only throwing things in your face and treating you like garbage for not giving them enough attention or whatever is going on there, but they're also using you as a pawn in their own game against the other person. Like just look at the way your mom responded to your stepdad, pretending like she even cared about you in the first place. Like that is super toxic and it's all manipulation in my opinion. And when it comes to your life in general, I really think it wouldn't be a bad idea to just focus on your family and your grandmother. If your mom and stepdad want to play these stupid games of guilt tripping you and making you feel like garbage, well then guess what? They can do that by themselves. You do not have to jump into their toxic cyclone. They are literally grown-ups and they need to pull themselves up and learn to lean on themselves. You're not responsible for them and you can only do so much. Because I know if I was in your shoes, my focus would be my girlfriend, my baby boy, and my grandmother. And anybody else, especially your parents, are just going to have to take a second place spot. Am I the jerk for throwing my mom's words back in her face by saying that I won't help out around the house because apparently that's a woman's job? Here's what happened. I'm a 28-year-old male engaged to be married to my high school sweetheart. Due to some financial insecurities that we used to face, we moved back in with my parents for a little while until we were able to afford to rent an apartment. I've lived with my parents in the past, of course, but then I moved out with my fiancé for two years. Now, we've moved with my parents for a while until the house we want to rent is available, which will be in two months. For context, I have a married older sister who's in the brink of divorce with her husband because he's doing nothing around the house. He simply comes back from work and sits and plays until he goes to bed while my sister does all of the housework on top of her full-time nursing job. My mom believes my sister is unreasonable for her demands towards her husband and believes it's a woman's job to do housework and cater to her husband, even if she works a job. Also, when I live with my fiancé alone, she would always badmouth my fiancé for forcing me to help out around the house and always said that as a woman, she's not taking proper care of me, her soon-to-be husband, because I also cooked and cleaned and did the chores, as well as many things around our home. Even now that we live in my parents' house, when we need to do laundry or anything like that, I don't expect my fiancé to be the one to do it, and I do it many times myself as well. My mom doesn't like that, and claims that my fiancé has me as a maid. Now, despite all that, my mom demands that I help her around the house when it's housework that she wants to do, and I do always do my part since I live here, but for her, it's never enough, and I'm a lazy son who doesn't care about helping his mother. After all the ridiculous stuff she said about my fiancé and my sister's traditional roles, I told her, okay, you know what? I'm not going to help out around the house then. That's a woman's job, remember? So don't demand from me to help you with the chores, since it's a woman's job and I'm a man. Now, I keep defending my sister, and I keep contributing equally to my fiancé and I's chores. I just refuse to contribute any helping hands to my mother, since she believes that she's entitled to help, but my fiancé and sister are supposed to be maids. My mom has badmouthed me to the entire family right now, and whenever someone visits, they scold me and call me a jerk, basically for being lazy and not helping out my mother. So am I the jerk for giving my mom a taste of her own medicine? What should I do? It really sounds like your mom has some like incredibly outdated views on marriage, as well as the roles that are set out. Like seriously, the guy can clean up and do house chores just as much as a lady can, and vice versa versa. They're both supposed to be working on that together to make the house better. Like, your mom is completely misguided if she seriously thinks that your sister is doing anything wrong here. Her husband is being really lazy. Instead of helping around the house, this guy just comes home and plays video games all night and then leaves it to his wife to clean up. And this lady works as a full-time nurse. Now, I don't know about you, but that's a hard job with hours that are incredibly long. So the last thing she wants to do when coming home from work is have to clean up the entire house, all because her husband refused used to do it. Like, there's really no good reason why he couldn't get up and do the dishes or literally anything around the house. Now, when it comes to whether or not you should have helped your mom out, I think that really is up to you. Like, I'm sure there's a lot of nuance associated with your relationship with your mom, so I can't really get into the specifics about that. But if you were trying to get a message across to her about how she's treating you and your fiancé, then 
trust me, I really think the message came across very clearly. Because think about it, her only tactic right now after being caught in her words is to badmouth you to the entire family. I mean, if that's not the sign that somebody has been completely beaten, I don't know what is. So honestly, in my opinion, I don't think you're the jerk here. I think your mom is being really ridiculous with the way she views men and women, as well as their roles around the house. Because honestly, a man can clean up the house just as much as a woman. And if you want to have a successful household in any kind of way, then I really think that everybody should be pitching in their fair share. My wife cannot take any constructive criticism. And now it's starting to affect everything I have to do at home and at work. And at this point, I seriously don't know what to do. Here's what happened. So my wife and I have been together for almost four years. We're both 30 years old and we've been married for a year. We love each other deeply. But over the last couple of years, I've noticed that she has gotten more and more defensive with not only constructive criticism, but also simple requests to stop doing little things. For example, we both work from home and my job is more demanding than hers. So sometimes I'll have to work after hours or on the weekends and will need to focus very intently on my work. And frequently when she is off work, she will do things like loudly listen to podcasts or sometimes she'll sing or talk to our cat or just make general noises around the house. At times she'll even talk to me after I politely tell her in an eggshell kind of fashion not to bother me for a finite period of time. Now I don't want her to feel like she's in a prison after work so oftentimes I will throw my headphones in and try to zone her out and on occasion in an effort to anticipate being bothered I'll politely let her know that I really need to focus for the next couple of hours and let her know that if she can just be conscious of that it would be amazing. I don't know if that sounds condescending but I'm very careful to make sure that I'm as sweet as possible because here's the thing she takes little things like this as an attack on her personally. I used to wait until after she made noise to ask her to be quiet but I would get similar responses. She would say stuff like oh I wasn't even making noise or she would also say you could have just told me that earlier and then she'll get upset and turn it on me. For example she'll say something like I'm putting the dishes away for you so we can have a clean house. Now she is the one who puts more importance on a clean house so I think this kind of excuse is just used to make me feel bad but honestly I don't know. Anyways this work thing is just one example of her turning simple requests into bigger fights than they need to be. Sometimes this comes in the form of her passively saying something negative about me and me asking her not to say such things. The most recent case here is that she's afraid of bugs, but she's also vegan. So anytime we've seen a bug in the house over the years, she's asked me to take it out of the house as opposed to stepping on it. And you know what? I do that because I love her. And across 15 total bug incidents, I've accidentally crushed the legs of two bugs. And trust me, it wasn't detrimental to the bug's life and it wasn't intentional. But the other night, there was a tiny spider that she wasn't afraid of. When I tried to trap it and take it out, she told me that she would handle it because I too frequently crush their legs. My take on this is that I'm already abiding by her wishes by not crushing these things on sight. So it felt like a low blow for her to mention this. Then when I told her that it hurt my feelings that she would say this, she got upset with me saying that she couldn't believe I was offended by that. So pretty much anytime I have an issue with her, no matter what my approach is, she throws it back in my face. Look, I love my wife, but I'm really close to this, so I'm not sure what to do because my soul feels a bit crushed by these instances, as well as their subsequent petty, brutal fights. What should I do? So I can kind of see both sides of this, but honestly, I kind of favor the wife in this situation. First of all, if you really want to have peace and quiet, I think you both need to invest in a separate room for you to work in so you can have some semblance of peace when you're working on something that's important. Because guess what? She lives there as well. She's allowed to sing to her cats and make noise in the house. She's also allowed to put the dishes away, despite the reaction that she might be giving you, which in my opinion is a completely different issue altogether. And I totally get it. Your work is very stressful. It's very demanding. So you really need to be laser focused on what you're doing. And I totally understand that and I respect that. That means you take your job seriously and clearly you're good at what you do. But it really seems like you working in the space that you're working in is clearly not private enough for you to get all this work done. Like seriously, think about it for a second. It really seems like your wife is living in a library. Any kind of normal household noise is like automatically shut down by you. She can't do anything without you being like, hey honey, could you be quiet please? I know if that was me, I would probably get really frustrated as well. Like come on, I live here as well. I should be allowed to make general noises as much as I want. So that's my first honest take on this situation. If you really want peace and quiet because of your demanding job, then it's 
it's time to set up an office somewhere in your house so that you can accomplish everything that you need to get done. Now, when it comes to your responses to your wife, I think that maybe there's some kind of like miscommunication going on here or something's not quite connecting with the both of you. You're saying that she can't take constructive criticism, but also I think you're way too sensitive in my opinion. Like you're reacting to her putting dishes away out of the dishwasher as well as just general noises around the house. It's not like she's doing this on purpose to annoy you. Like I'm pretty sure you would know if she was trying to be like malicious and sabotage your job. It sounds like you both love each other and that's just not the case. Also with the bug issue and her being like, oh, don't do it. You're just going to kill the bug. I seriously think you're blowing that out of proportion and it's not that big of a deal. So honestly, I don't think this is a case of your wife not being able to take constructive criticism, but instead I think you're being way too sensitive because your wife lives in that house as well. And for her to practically shut down her life all because you want peace and quiet, in my opinion, is completely unreasonable. When you subscribe, make sure to hit the bell to turn on notifications. To finish listening to all the stories, check out the playlist at the top of the description. And if you want some chill music to put on in the background, check out Easy Mode. If you like Am I the Jerk, subscribe to Am I the Genius. Everything will be linked down below in the description.